Honorable Seth Frederick P. Halosos, our city mayor. Ako si Seth Frederick P. Halosos ng Siyudad ng Dapitan ng hinirang sa katungkulan bilang mayor ay taimtim na manunumpa ay lalapat ko ang katurungan ng walang pagkiling sa sino mang tao na ipatamasa ng pantay ang karapatan sa mahirap at mayaman. Natuto pa rin ko ng buong husay at katapatan na abot ng aking kakayahan. Ang mga tungkulin kong aking kasulukuyang katungkulan. katungkulan, aking itataguyod at ipagtatanggol ang konstitusyon ng Pilipinas. Natunay na mananalig, tatalima ako rito at susundin ko ang mga batas, mga kautosang legal at mga dekretong pinaiiral ng mga sadyang itinakdang may kapangyarihan ng Republika ng Pilipinas. Kusa kong babalikatin ang pananagutang ito. Walang anumang pasubali o hangaring umiwas. Siya na ako ng Diyos. Dr. Jose Rizal, who was exiled in the Pitan for more than four years, once said, To foretell the destiny of a nation, it is necessary to open a book that tells of her past. In the Pitan, we make it a point to remember and honor our national hero and his contribution to our country. His legacy reminds us that there are many things in life worth fighting for, like freedom, education, human rights, health, sustainable development, and more. I am inspired by Dr. Jose Rizal's legacy and vision. This I took to heart when I was sworn in as mayor of the Pitan. Our city's rich history and culture demonstrate that we, the Pitanons, have a bright future ahead of us. Allow me to report to you on what we have accomplished and begun during my first 100 days in office. We have worked hard to get off to a good start through strategically planning and implementing programs and projects to maximize the benefits for our fellow Dapitanons. As the father of the Pitan City Government, I have treated our employees, partners, and stakeholders as official family members. As a result, we have attempted to provide them with a favorable working environment. Furthermore, we have worked hard to find the best and brightest people to serve in the local government unit. Equitable basic services are critical components of urban economic and social development. As I stated in my inaugural speech, we must work together to improve the livability and quality of life of every Dapitano. The Morning Walks with Mayor aims to encourage Dapitanons to live an active lifestyle. Furthermore, it allowed us to inspect public works that are vital to the community. We have discovered some infrastructure problems as well as community issues in keeping with our commitment to provide Servicio Belize. We immediately took steps to improve the drainage system in order to reduce flooding in some areas of the city. We intend to acquire a full fleet of heavy equipment over the next year. This will assist the city government in improving public infrastructure and increasing accessibility by constructing new roads, particularly in remote barangays. The Talisay, Sinunok, Oro, Oswagan Road is one of those that will be rehabilitated. The two island barangays of Silinog and Aliguay have been recipients of water desalination treatment system. This facility is a dependable solution to provide water for drinking, cooking, and doing laundry. Parallel with this is the provision of solar power energy to drive the desalination machines. The Dapitan City Water District has been given the green light to evaluate a collaboration with the Villar Group's Prime Water Infrastructure Corporation. Prime Water is committed to provide clean, potable, and dependable water supply from the source direct to our faucets in all barangays of Dapitan over the next three years. As I took my oath as mayor of Dapitan, I was welcomed by the establishment of the LTO Dapitan Extension Office, for which I lobbied and fought during my first term as a congressman in Zamboanga del Norte's 1st District. 
The Pitanons are now finding it easier to conduct transactions with the LTO. During our administration, the Pitan garnered one of the highest COVID-19 vaccination rate in the entire Philippines. As our city's tourism industry recovers and our schools resume face-to-face -face classes, we must continue to work to maintain herd immunity against the COVID-19 virus. We will establish the Servicio Belis Botica in the new government center. This will provide free medicines and ensure that every Dapitanon's health is taken care of. One of our administration thrusts is to strengthen our capacity to assist in climate change adaptation, disaster response, and risk reduction management. In my first 100 days in office, we purchased two ambulances to help with pre-hospital care for patients experiencing medical emergencies and disasters. In the pipeline are the acquisition of more equipment that will help us deliver effective and immediate disaster response. These include a fire truck, which will aid in the rapid response to firefighting operations, a beachcomber machine to help maintain the cleanliness of the Sunset Boulevard beach area, and a water ambulance that will transport disaster victims and patients from the islands to the nearest hospital or healthcare facility. We also would like to establish a state-of-the-art command center for emergency response and recovery support operations during incidents and disasters. For environmental protection and preservation, our administration supports the implementation of Republic Act 9003 or the Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000. We are currently upgrading our landfill facility with top-notch equipment to achieve a common cause of reduce, reuse, recycle. Beaches play an important role in people's lives. This is why we are on the process of procuring a beachcomber. This state-of-the-art machine will expedite the coastal cleanup and help our personnel in maintaining the cleanliness of the Pitan's coastlines. Since I began working in public office, social welfare has been my top priority. We strive to broaden the scope of our flagship program, Servicio Bilis sa Barangay, in order to provide people and communities with social change and development in a timely and efficient manner. A well-educated workforce is critical to the prosperity of our city, which is why we make certain that every Dapitanon receives high-quality education. We assisted schools in resuming face-to-face -face classes as we enter into the new norm. We also initiated some infrastructure improvements to make our schools more conducive to learning. Let me also take this opportunity to announce that Adamson University, one of the top private universities in Manila, has found its home here in Larayan, the Pitan City. The Pitan is the first and only provincial branch in Mindanao to have engaged into a higher milestone in the avenue of learning. Adamson University is one of the top 201 plus universities in Asia and top five in the Metro Manila area. Welcome. Adamson University, the Pitan Campus. As a young mayor, I am also committed to empower our youth sector. We founded the Kabataang Ilustrado Nagpakabana sa Dapitan, or KIND, to emulate the life and teachings left to us by Dr. Jose Rizal. To young Dapitanons, I encourage you to join KIND and become leaders, learn the value of helping others, and give back to our communities. We are extremely happy that the Pitan's tourism industry is recovering from the negative economic effects caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Our administration has simplified and clearly defined the Pitan's branding or identity, which is encapsulated by its tourism slogan, Dapit na sa Dapitan, always inviting. The Pitan comes from the word Dapit, which means to invite. The city is a multifaceted tourist travel destination. It facilitates unique, positive experience for tourists in heritage, film, culture, and arts, ecotourism, and sports. We recognize that our strength in hospitality as being demonstrated by our famous tourism destinations such as the Rizal Shrine, Dakak Park and Beach Resort, Glorious Fantasyland to name a few. 
That is why the Pitan is the best place to travel, enjoy, and gain new experiences. Our administration has demonstrated that the Pitan is considered the events capital in Mindanao. From concerts, sports, competitions, festivals, and conferences, the city has facilities to host both national and international events. In fact, we are looking forward to host in 2023 the international sporting event Ironman 5150 Triathlon. Meanwhile, we are keen in preserving our culture and heritage. We instituted programs such as Revisitamos the Pitan 1892 that commemorates the arrival of our national hero, Dr. Jose Pirizal in the Pitan. We have also opened to the public Balay Amoy, a heritage house museum of Don Mariano Amoy, Dr. Rizal's best friend during his four-year exile in the Pitan. It is the first DOT-accredited museum in the entire Zamboanga Peninsula. The hosting of Cinemalaya 18, Festival of Winners, premiered the Pitan as a film hub in Mindanao. We will be pioneering the establishment of a local film commission, the first of its kind in the country. This will make the city an ideal location for film productions, increasing tourist arrivals and creating more jobs. You must have noticed that there is an ongoing development in our Dapitan Sunset Boulevard. A massive effort is being given to improve the whole stretch of the iconic boulevard, including the Punto de Desembarco de Rizal in Dapitan, to make it as an ideal setting for unwinding and spending quality time with family and friends. We are establishing the Tapitan City Boulevard Authority through an ordinance that will monitor and create programs to increase tourism and provide livelihood to our residents. We also developed the Tapitan Eco Park, which is currently enjoyed by locals and tourists alike. We created Food Street to highlight various local cuisines every Sunday night. This also provides opportunities for local entrepreneurs, a sector that has been severely impacted by the pandemic lockdown. Exciting days are coming as we enter the Christmas season. We will be inaugurating the Smart Lighting Project along Sunset Boulevard, New Government Center, City Plaza, Punto de Desembarco de Rizal, and Polo Bridge. This is a breathtaking and amazing spectacle of LED and laser lights that one can enjoy during their visit in the Pitan. You can also expect that at the end of the year, dark alleys and streets of the Poblacion will finally be well lighted. Today, we have already deployed tourist police to safeguard our visitors at our city's various tourism sites, as we are having high influx of visitors now and expecting more in the coming months. We encourage more tourists to visit the Pitan while also ensuring their safety and security. Our government seeks to respond to all of its citizens' needs and uses technology to stay connected. We have inaugurated the biggest outdoor promotional display in Zamboanga Peninsula, just right outside the new government center. This digital billboard is used to inform the public, promote tourism, and aid in environmental preservation by reducing the use of tarpaulins. In addition, we want to bridge the gap between the government and the people through social media and other online platforms. Currently, we are intensifying the digitization of LGU operations to provide fast and reliable service to our clientele. The internet is becoming so important in our lives. That is why our administration established the free Wi-Fi zones in the Dapitan Eco Park and soon in other public spaces here in Dapitan. We are currently negotiating with billionaire Elon Musk's high-speed satellite internet venture, Starlink. The agreement aims to provide internet access to all barangays in our city, especially those that do not have connectivity. Our peace and order situation, wide roads, basic infrastructure, the fastest internet connection in the region, talent availability, transportation services, and government support for businesses make the Pitan a conducive business and investment location. National companies are now choosing the Pitan as their home. We have sealed the deal with Villar Group's Prime Water Infrastructure Corporation, Adamson University, Food Panda, 
Extreme Mega Appliance Center, DIY Hardware, among others. We are also doing our best to provide livelihood opportunities and services to local, micro, small, medium enterprises. We will bounce back from the problems brought by the recent pandemic. The National Fisheries Research and Development Institute of the Department of Agriculture has allotted 608 million pesos for the establishment of the Brackish Water Fisheries Research and Development Center in San Pedro, the Pitan City. This is the only one of its kind in the entire country. Again, thank you for choosing the Pitan. Our administration envisions to make the Pitan as the provincial hub for national offices. We will work hard to lobby that more agencies establish their offices here in our city. Our engagement in the regional and national arena ensures that we will not be left behind by other cities in the country. I am proud to announce to my fellow Dapitanons that I have taken my oath as the regional chairman for Zamboanga Peninsula of the League of Cities of the Philippines. Furthermore, we have maintained a good affiliation with our Vice President Sara Duterte who is also the Secretary of the Department of Education. Being a congressman for nine years, the campaign manager and personal friend of our President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., we will ensure that the Pitan will be able to contribute in the fulfillment of the President's agenda in nation building. Furthermore, I can assure that we will lobby to the President for programs and projects that will benefit every Dapitanon. In the recent state visit of the President in the United States of America, I am happy to say that I am one of only three mayors who supported the delegation in their historical visit in New York. In closing, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our LGU employees and office heads for helping us deliver a fruitful 100 days. As an LGU, we cannot do it alone. We require everyone's help and support. We call all the Pitanons to unite and help us reach our aspirations to be matatag, maginhawa, and panatag. Mga Dapitanons, asahan ninyo that the best is yet to come. Proud and happy to be Dapitanon, now more than ever.